Hey what's up guys welcome to find gap and in today's video I am going to teach you how to deploy a next.js application on WordCell. So without any delay let's start. Okay friends so the first step will be we will create a new next.js project. I will open my browser and here I will search for next.js and I am going to open their website from here i can copy this command npx create next app at the rate of latest again i will go to my dashboard right click and click on open in terminal before executing this command make sure you have node.js installed on your computer so i will paste this command press enter so it is asking me my project name i am going to name this fine gap deployment press enter from here it will ask you some questions like either you want typescript so i will press yes yes lint yes yes i want tailwind css so i will just press enter enter and enter but basic purpose is we are creating a next js project once you will answer these questions uh, it will take some time and create your next js project on desktop because we have opened our this cmd command line on desktop if you can see that my project is created successfully now i will simply type this cd fine gap deployment and i will press enter and then i will type code space door basically i am opening this project in my visual studio code okay uh, before doing anything i will open the built-in terminal in visual studio code and type here npm run dev okay so my project is running to this port so you can see that our project is running what i'm going to do i'm just going to make some minor changes in my project uh, for instance, I will open the page to TSX and here I will add a heading like fine gap deployment project. Okay, and maybe we can add a dummy paragraph which will say lorem ipsum. Okay, now you can see that we have a heading and we have a paragraph. Okay, so here I have added a tailwind CSS class. Now the next step is you need to create a github repository. Uh, make sure in your default browser you logged in with your github account and create a new repository so first of all i will go to my github account and once you open your github account somewhere you will find create new repository and once you will click on the button uh, you will land on this page uh, from here you need to give your repository name i'm going to give fine gap hyphen deployment and uh, i will keep it this repository public and simply create repository okay so the repository is created now simply you need to open your again built-in terminal in your project i will type Control c and yes uh, currently i just shut down my project because before it was running on this port and i have shut down this now we have to write some git commands here in our terminal to push this code to our github account okay so first of all i will copy this git init command paste here i will press enter and uh, then i will copy this command git commit uh, it is giving me an error i believe i can use this command basically you need to push your code to your github repository and then i will copy this command and then i will copy this command git push main i hope you have a bit of knowledge about git and github so basically it is uploading or pushing my code to my github repository now let me click on the code okay you can see that we just created a brand new github repository and the code is uploaded to our, my repository inside our source app we have page.tsx and yes okay our title that we have added is not pushed yet we will push the, that again but our all the code of our project is uploaded to our github repository so let me repeat until here we created a next.js project i hope you already have created your next.js project and maybe you have code something or create a next.js application and second thing we do uh we have created a brand new github repository but maybe in your case you have already created a github repository and deployed your project on github next step is you need to open the versal website 
so i will type here whatsapp and i will click on this it is showing me my dashboard but in your case maybe it will ask you to sign in so you need to create an account here on whatsapp provide your email or whatever process they ask you you have to follow and create a an account on your virtual application okay once you will create that then you will find your dashboard here if you see here we are seeing add new button so after clicking on this you will see this drop down and click on project and now from here it will ask you to connect your github account with whatsapp in my case i have already do this but in your case you you need to click on add github account if you will click here uh, you will maybe ask your github screen or something like this but uh, i have already do this so that's why i am watching this screen but generally you need to click you need to connect your github account with whatsapp okay once you do this uh, first of all you can see missing github repository let me click on it adjust github application okay and let me click on this from here uh, it is showing me this page on github from here i will search for my github repository because i do not have allow all repositories uh, to be accessed by whatsapp so i will search here uh, find gap hyphen deploy deployment uh, you can see we want to deploy this repository so i will select this and click on save button uh, once i will save this and close this window you can see that find gap deployment so this repository is also showing me here so i will click on import uh, now here you need to give uh, your project name so i will remain this as it is fine gap deployment and it is asking me uh, framework which framework so because uh, we are using next year so make make sure your desired framework from here uh, so i will remain this as it is because obviously we are deploying a nexus application and the root directory and if you have any environment variables you need to provide those variables here the variable and value but in my case there is no environment variable so i will skip this step and obviously these are the build commands and next simply you need to click on deploy once you will click on deploy it will start deploying your application on vercel uh it can take some seconds but you need to wait here and you can check uh, one thing you need to keep in mind if your next app js application have any errors your deployment will become failed and you need to fix those errors because we just have created a brand new project so that's why there are no errors but you if you are building a project maybe there are some errors uh maybe your application will running on local host but uh, sometime if you are using typescript maybe you have any typescript error or something like this so first of all you need to fix those errors and then your deployment will become successful otherwise you will see error here okay okay you can see that it is showing me congratulations you just deployed a new project okay so let me click on continue to dashboard and it is showing me its status ready and this is the our domain fine gap hyphen deployment dot virtual dot app let me click on this okay so friends you can see that our next js application have been deployed on our virtual account okay now i will show you the magic <laughs> not magic but i mean suppose uh, we are building our application and we made some changes to our app so how you will able to see those changing on your app let me show you okay so first of all you can see that we made these changes uh fine gap deployment project we have this paragraph and maybe let me type here one more thing like uh code is cheap show me the product okay so we have made these changes to our project now we need to push these changes to our github to push these changes i will open the terminal and let me first of all clear everything and i will type here git init again uh let me repeat you have some knowledge about git and github that how we push our code to github so i am writing some git commands here then i will type git remote add origin and then i will type here my repository url uh, to get my repository url i will go to my github account okay and from here let me click here code so basically this is my repository url so i will copy this and paste here press enter 
okay it is asking me error remote okay so remote origin already access so simply what i will do i will type git add and space dot and then i will type git commit minus m and added some headings and paragraph to the project let me press enter and then simply i will type git push origin and main okay uh, first of all let me go to my github repository and let me click on commits so you can see that edit some headings and paragraph to the project so my second commit is pushed to my project if i want to see the changes so you can see that we have a heading a paragraph and another paragraph so these three changes have been done to our project and uh, now again if i go to my virtual application or if i go to my virtual dashboard okay i do not have to do anything it is asking me that to update your production deployment push the main branch so i do not do anything uh, i just made some changes to my repository and now you can see that these changes have been automatically done to our uh, live production application fine gap deployment project and code is cheap show me the product so friends uh this was the process that how you can deploy a nextjs project to your uh, whatsapp app let me uh, repeat the steps that we fo uh, follow in this video first of all we created a basic nextjs project maybe you ha you already have a nextjs project you are working on and then we push that project to to a github repository and then we create a new project to our virtual application before doing this you need to create an account on virtual app and then you need to link your github account with virtual application and then the final part is uh, you need to import your that specific rep github repository to your virtual application and you need to uh, deploy your application and now once you will push any changes to your main branch uh, you will able to see those changes here on your on virtual so friends this was the video that how you can uh, deploy any nexus application to whatsapp i hope that this video will be helpful for you if you have any question you can ask us in the comment section we will try to answer your question and please subscribe to our youtube channel for our regular videos and finally thanks for watching